show, show what it can do. And it's the peacock that has the big display. Absolutely, yes, the big the plume. The hen's yes. slightly drab. Yes. Well, I wouldn't say that, Amy. A little so. duller in colour, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> not in this studio. Of not course not. <laughs> Now then, it's, um, it's... Well, last night I said to Paul about the wet and windy, and he said, well, it's October. Yeah, it's autumn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'll say the same You've thing. You've got yeah. the same answer. Yeah, we're on the same <laughs> team, Phil. Why You're ganging up against me, that's what it is. <laughs> never, never. Yes. <laughs> uh, right, uh, the weather looks pretty unpleasant at times over the next few days. Rain tomorrow will be heavy and persistent, particularly for the hills. And then again, overnight Saturday into Sunday. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't have another warning out for that because we do have a warning for tomorrow morning for the Pennines and for the Peak District. Uh, the rain will be heavy and persistent. I think if you're making any trans-Pennine journeys tomorrow morning, uh, take care because there'll be a lot of surface water and spray it really will be coming down and it's going to be windy tomorrow as well gradually easing through the afternoon and then the rain sinks away southwards through the afternoon a saturday looks like quite a pleasant day dry and fine with some sunshine but uh, that rain band pushes north again uh, to affect us saturday night into sunday and then next week the atlantic is still in charge so further spells of wet and windy weather to come and it's been fairly cloudy out there uh, through this afternoon and there's some showers in the forecast overnight in fact a real mix of clear spells most likely in the east and further showers most likely in the west and some of those showers could be heavy and thundery for western parts through this evening tending to merge into a longer spell of rain later on in the night it's going to be a mild night and it's going to be a windy night gusts in excess of 40 miles an hour temperatures down to around 11 or 12 degrees Quick look at those high water times due next in Scarborough at 329 and then 342 in Filey so we'll start the day with a lot of rain. The rain will be heavy and persistent in places, particularly across uh, the hills. So uh, a, a difficult rush hour, but we are going to see a slow improvement. That rain will gradually sink away southwards. The sunshine will come out. It'll become drier, brighter, aside from just one or two showers across the very far west and northwest. It's going to remain windy through tomorrow. Again, gusts in excess of around 40, 45 miles an hour, and temperatures will get up to around 14 or 15 degrees. Saturday looks like the best day of the weekend dry and fine the breeze will lighten and there'll be some sunshine as well and then overnight Saturday into Sunday that rain band will return from the south it'll be heavy and persistent so a wet start to Sunday and then that rain will clear out into the North Sea there'll be a lot of cloud around but it'll tend to brighten up later the rain returns again for Monday oh. Yeah. There's no need for you to be here. It's the same forecast every day, isn't it? <laughs> All right, well, I'll go. See you later. Clear off. Uh, that's as far as we go for now. Thanks for watching. Yeah, if you're going to go out to Leeds tonight, take ladies. your umbrella with you because it's going to be a soggy one. Uh, you're not back. Are you back tomorrow? No. No. Good, Good job. Good. <laughs> Good night. Good night.